Welcome back to Hungry on Game. This is going to be a fun one. We're back with Try Stuff Tuesday. And we're going to try a game that I was considering doing for the channel just generally, but figured might as well throw it in here and just kind of see how it feels. This is Children of the Sun, designed made by Renee Rotha, published by Devolver Digital. This is a tactical puzzle FPS, I believe. We're going to learn a lot here. But yeah, this, this game seems absolutely fun. Oh no. Content warning, I suppose. The story of this game is going to be a treat to follow, isn't it? <laughs> the vibes are definitely creepy. I think we're trying to stop some cultists? Something like that? That's about as much of the story I know. Plus whatever we've witnessed in the last minute or so. But yeah, apparently the gameplay is just... Really sweet. So we'll see how the game looks and feels. Definitely an intriguing premise. Okay. Whoa. What? Oh, this is so wild. It's literally just left, right. I guess I can also use my keyboard. Interesting. Just want to shoot, I guess. There's one more. I'll have to shoot the other now. What? This game has the like. This game has like the. This game has the guilty gear thing where stuff happens, words are on your screen, and. So you're expected to know what they mean? Yeah, I can't go forward. It's literally just left, right. So one, two, three, four. Oh, it says in the top right, I think, how many targets I have. A left click. Or is that number of bullets I have? It could be both. I wonder if I have to headshot. I think it's more fun. I think the gameplay loop will make more sense. Interesting. Let's keep going. Like I said, I think the gameplay loop will make more sense. Broken home. All right. Next level, please. This game's absolutely wild. Not in a bad way. It's just, there's just a lot going on. Chill the music out just a little more. So it looks like four targets again. One, two. Is that all I can? Oh, okay. So where's the fourth target? One, two. Is that one? Ah, oh, that is one. Okay. Where's the last one? Four. So I think I have to shoot them all from the same vantage point. I'll shoot this guy first. How much do I have to lead? Oh. Uh, lead enough, I think.
gonna miss. Yep. Maybe it's... Uh... Obviously it looks like it's traveling, but maybe... Okay, I think maybe it walks snow. So I do know you have to kill everyone in one round. Oh, interesting. So you have more bullets, but the bullets travel from the last point you shot them at. Okay, that is the puzzle part of the game. We finally figured it out. So it's not your vantage point that matters. It's triangulating the targets. Interesting. Okay. Fascinating. So that's the puzzle element of the game, I suppose. And I'm curious, like, how much harder it gets. Already moving targets seem tough, <laughs> given how many times we missed that one. Oh, is there hazards? Ooh. Environmental? Yes. This game kind of has the energy of, that is so loud. Turn everything down a little still. Five targets, that's so many. Two, three, four, five. There's the gas tank. I don't know if I can see those. I'm just gonna shoot this and see what happens. I assume this kills three people does I appear to not be able to see the next targets okay let's go again let me mark them oh it already marked those three all right what's going on over here I think you also have a gas tank I can shoot Yes. What if I shoot this thing? Then how am I doing? Uh, I guess I could just do this. No, there's a rock in the way. Okay. Obviously, like, the game doesn't let you zoom out. Because it would make it a little too easy, probably. All right, let me shoot the gas tank over here again. And see what that does for me. Oh, it's over there. Let's wait. Oh, no, 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 no. How far do I have to go? Wait, can I not shoot the gas tank on the other side anymore? No, that doesn't seem right. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I'm stupid. I guess I could mark the other guest tank too. Can I? That's gonna hit a rock, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I have to do it the other way. I don't know if there's like a thing I'm missing. I wanna say no. I do think I can do this. Hmm. Alright, so there is a rock in the way. How do I fix that? Can I bounce it off stuff? Like, in theory, if I shot this tree, what would happen? nothing as far as I know I can't bounce stuff off stuff oh interesting right click pushes your mask up and down I have no idea what that's for if anything it might just be for fun all right so what what's this there's maybe something in there I I 
think I can zoom in as well from this. Cause it's the same. Oh no, I can't. Interesting. Okay, that's not helpful when I'm trying to shoot more people. I don't understand. It just goes off into space. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I feel like it obviously wants me to shoot the gas tank. So I'm going to. But then what do I do? Like, there's this other car here. But, like, I very clearly can't shoot through this rock, right? Shoot this? No. Can I curve bullets at all? Let me check the controls real quick. This does not have controls. Interesting. Okay, never mind. I will not be checking them then. What if I just shot them? How would that work? Same problem, it looks like. Yeah, same problem. This is not easy. <laughs> so we can go all the way this way. All the way that away. Can I? Can I get to where I need to go from? I don't think, for this worth, I don't think shooting. Uh, I don't think where you fire from makes that much difference. No, this doesn't work either. Does this do something? It does, but same problem. I don't I think my bullet trajectory really matters a lot from here, right? <sighs> Just thinking. Like it was. I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't think moving makes a difference, right? Like... Maybe? It's about as outside edge as I can go, but... I can't get around this thing. What does the map say? Probably nothing, right? I can just go back to a level. All right. I mean, maybe replaying the intro scene will show me something. This is the two person one. It's clearly showing me I can shoot the gas. Which makes sense. But then how do I... How do I keep going from there? I think this person has to be shot last. Where's three? Oh, I don't have them marked, so I don't know. I think they're this way, though, right? Yeah. I think if I just shoot their gas tank, it marks them all. 
Is it? Like if I just square up this way, what happens? Oopsie. Did not mean to shoot the tree. Understand. Can't influence the bullet at all. So it's not that, I don't think. Alright, let's just let's just try starting at all the possible different places. Because if we don't shoot someone. We can't. They do run. Will they run far enough for me to shoot them? Doesn't look like it. Like if they kept running, it would work. I don't even know that I care. Hmm. Do I need them to do I need this person to run like significantly far away? Maybe. I can try this. I don't know if this is the intended thing, but maybe. It's kind of the only thing I can think of. Can you return to like normal time at all? Doesn't look like it. We definitely lose some score doing this, but genuinely can't think of another way to do this, given what I've been presented with so far. This does kind of remind me of like first person party hard. Is that far enough? I guess I could see. My guess is no. Yeah, it's not. I do weirdly feel like that's the way to do it though. Let me try shooting the middle. Because then the other two will run away. And that might give me more of a chance. I don't think this person's ever helping me. I think there's a chance this one does. I just don't know how long I have to wait. It's so weird that this would be the way I solve this level. Given how much impact there was placed on the gas tanks but maybe I'm missing something else maybe you just wanted to introduce environmental for later pretty sure I need this person to run unbelievably far away by the way also I might put myself in a silly spot is that far enough I really don't know also can I shoot through this car I guess maybe I should get that information first. I can. Oh, baby. So I could shoot the gas thing if I'd marked it. I can shoot it now. Alright. I don't know if that was the intended way for me to solve that level, but it did work. <laughs> Probably you have to m have people move. If I had to guess. I just don't think you can solve. <laughs> From what I know currently, there's no way to solve levels without knowing, without them moving. Yeah, I'm getting the story in a uh, real small chunks here. <laughs> but whoever these people are, I think I assume they're the eponymous children of the sun. Whoever they are, we don't like them.
Oh, they actually have a decent amount of scope around this level. There's one there, one there. Maybe let's just try... Well, there's one there too. I think the way... For me to enjoy this game, personally... Oh, what? There's a wall there? It's interesting. I think the way I'm going to enjoy this game is... Just trying stuff. Need that person. Yep. And now. Oh no! No! Oh no. Suboptimal. Uh, if I had people mocked, maybe. I think I could have hit that person. Alright, race time. Let's mock the last two people as well. Probably make it a little easier. It's nice that the game mocks for you. Maybe going this way is fine, actually. Four left. One, two, three. It looks like four. Oh, how am I going to get out? Yeah, okay. That might have also worked if I had off a little better. So I'm pretty sure I need two to kill one. Maybe let me start here. There's a door there, but I don't see no one. This gets me to five, right? Nice. I can go back. Yep. Three. I guess I can go 2-1 here, it looks like. Oh, look, I got my way. That's fine, worked out. So you can see the puzzle elements kind of coming together there. I like the over overview map as well. I think it really shows off the puzzle-ness of the game. And like I said, there's a reason you can't do that before. It would make the game probably a little too easy. But getting to see what happens afterwards is really satisfying. Being like, oh, that's what we were in the level. That's how I took it. What are the birds here for? Wait, I'm really taking out the birds? I'm, I'm that mad at the wildlife? Okay. Interesting revenge. Where are, see any birds? Wish I had taken the time to mark them, I guess. Definitely taking the time to mark things makes the game easier. But when you shoot stuff, it marks it anyway. Oh, it didn't mark them, Never mind. All right. This definitely feels like a, oh, cause there are not people it doesn't mark them. I'm missing one. Oh, these move too. I think I have to get the birds first. I have, a, I have a plan. Man, hitting moving targets is rough. Hopefully my markers all stayed there. They did not. How irritating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, have a plan. Okay, I think it's fish. Oh, mm, I think this was bad. We'll see. Might not be able to get to the other fish this way. Oh, never mind. Is that hit? Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. Interesting level. <laughs> cool. I guess part of me f makes me feel like that's showing off movement of objects. 
But the other part maybe is just like showing off that you can. Maybe it's just showing off that like you can shoot off wildlife as ways to get around things. What's it called? Breakfast time. Yeah, all right. Lines up. I think that's me, or the main character. I'm gonna be honest with you, my character seems a little unhinged. Wait, are they all dead? <laughs> I'm supposed to ricochet off the dead bodies? Shoot towards the left trees. Okay, more tutorials. Sure. Oh. Oh, snap. Now aim to find the hidden enemy. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I feel like that's what I needed in the last level, but it didn't tell me that. So instead I did the like, wonky weight struts. Oh. Oh. Is that right? I'm just gonna see. It is one. Right here. One there and one I don't know. Oh, why didn't right click work? Oh, it does work. Okay, hit it too late. I think you have to hold the button. Wait, I didn't want to replay the tutorial. I guess I needed to uncheck the box. It is hold the button. So interesting to me that this tutorial came like now instead of earlier, but whatever. Game's allowed to do what it wants to do. Is this the enemy? I don't think so. Oh, there's the enemy. That was convenient. Oh. Oh, that was kind of wild. All right, it's officially wanted, which is pretty cool. This is the gimmick I thought the game had, so I was surprised it introduced it a little late, but uh, this is very cool. Now I feel like the game has begun. I'm curious how many more tutorials there are. I guess we'll see. The concept of this game, like, the gameplay loop is really cool. Old home. I mean, are they all in there? Maybe, possibly, probably. Do I have to kill the birds too? I don't know. I'm gonna start by shooting this guy. One. Oh, I think they're all in here. Maybe not. Seems to have missed one or two. Okay. I guess I'll shoot a bird. Just to find out if I need to shoot the bird. I think the bird is something I can shoot. I don't think the bird is something I have to shoot to win the level. Where is everyone though? Feels like with the way the level's constructed, everyone is in there. Oh, never mind. There's two here. Uh, I'm still missing one, right? Do I really have to shoot this bird? No, I don't have to shoot. Oh, I found him. 
don't know how intentional that was, but it works for me. I think that hits. Nice. This hits. And I should be able to get in here, no problem. And I don't think it's that tricky here. Upstairs. Might not even need to bend a bullet. Yeah, nice. I think hitting him in the head does give you more points for what it's worth. But you don't need to to win the level. Look at that. <laughs> Fun little bounce around. Looks like a racing level, you know. Gallery of heads. That makes me think that maybe there's some enemies you have to headshot. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, except for in that level that was specifically called Breakfast Time that was about me eating. I don't think any of the targets you need to take out in order to win a level are animals. I think animals are just options you have, which is cool. There's four down there, five down there, five down there. Yep. Two, four, five. Here he's moving. Six, seven. Where is eight and nine? Also, look, how do they not see me? Just, just personally. There's a ninth target somewhere. I much prefer when you can do a 360 around the whole level for what it's worth. To me, from a gameplay perspective, this is the cleanest like way. Also, it looks like some of the moving targets are part of the puzzle as well, which is cool. So there's going to be some cycles you'll have to hit. Where is the ninth target? One, two, four. Four here. One, two, three, four. One on the stairs. Three in the hut. Aha! Alright, so I think... I think what I need... I think now is a decent time to go. I think I need one to be kind of up the stairs-ish. So I can ricochet off of it. Yeah, perfect. And then just go downstairs for the last two. Yeah, I think this will work. No! Okay, can't bend that far. Interesting. Could do it the other way. Let me try something. Oh, couldn't even couldn't even start to bend the bullet fast enough there. I mean, it's definitely about connecting the two moving elements. I guess I want to shoot out this window, maybe? Okay, I think that's right. Where's the guy? So I want them to start walking. I'm pretty sure. I think, and then I'm going to shoot from here out this window. That's my plan, at least. No one's moving. Just in there. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, whoops, I hit the wall. That might work. Maybe I don't even need to get indoors that way. Oh, whoops. I was thinking, I think maybe I can actually go down from the bottom. Let me try that. I 
think from five. So I can leave four. I can leave one alive. Cause they're still traveling that way actually. This feels like the slow way to do this. I can't wait forever actually. This might not have been the best. Okay. I'm gonna say that wasn't the best. I think my original plan was correct. I think. I guess we can test it by trying it again. Oopsie. Oh no, we got him. Go down this way. We're trying to bounce off the outside. I think one of these two. Uh, let's say five. This? Oh, damn. I think that will work, though. I think I just did it a little early. This game is, uh... Oh, the gruesome. But I mean, it's basically a sniper simulator as a puzzle game. What was that arcade game? Nice. Don't know if that was exactly intended, but I'll take it. Also, why are some people not paying attention? All right, nice. I guess it's easier to bend down than, well, you can't bend very much more specifically. So, going up and then down a little bit was much easier than going right a lot. Feels like, basically, the lesson learned there. I think this said you can't see them all, is that right? Also, the number of targets in levels has pretty massively increased already. So, I'm assuming there's going to be a huge number of things to deal with. Oh, I can see them all. Well, that's good. This game's aesthetic is quite pleasing. What is happening with that car over there? Is that car going to hit someone? There is a gas tank to shoot. I guess I'll just shoot. I don't want to see what happens. That guy's toasted. Five more. See anyone anywhere else currently? Oh, interesting. Oh no, can I do it again? No. All right. So you only get one curve. Actually, is that true? Yeah, you can only go so far, basically. Is this an easier way to scout? <laughs> Honestly, kind of feels like it. Is that a person? Oh, what? Can I mark people in that mode? That's the other thing I'm not too sure about. I don't think so, but maybe. I thought there was a person here. Guess not. I think that's... I can't mark. I think that's a person. Oh, it's a light. No! <laughs> it's a nightstand light, I think. Okay, I need to mark everyone. I shot an extra one that helped. This level is a lot bigger than the other levels. Nope. Oh, there's stuff in the way. 
All right, I think, honestly, <laughs> bullet scouting is the most effective. I wonder where the other two are. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm missing two. Ooh, that one's tough to hit. Might be possible to hit that way. Also, I, I did realize a bit earlier, but didn't really let it play out, that you do get... Oh, wait, there's someone. That you do get uh, the reverse of your path shown to you. The person was there. I thought so. You do get the reverse of your path shown to you. When you fail, which is actually pretty handy. <laughs> this is very close. I just don't know where the last target is. I'm actually mostly spending my time, to tr time trying to figure out where they are. This way? So all I have to do is find the target. I do like that the tagline is uh, you can see them all and then it's just very hard to find the last one. Also, I assume it's intentional, but a lot of the elements being lighting elements that are yellow that look like your targets makes it tricky, but I'm guessing that's intentional. It's not there, is it? So let's see. That's a light. <laughs> How it gets you. The light. Wait, is there a person working on that car? Uh, I think just using my mouse to move. Mouse for everything actually seems to be more optimal. That is a car, right? Yes. Hmm. I like the path I found for the five. But I just need six. One, two. What do I think they are? <laughs> I think they're like somewhere far. Like in one of these houses or something. Or maybe this one. I can't see anything. I feel like the game is lying to me. I feel like I can't see them all. One of them in the car? I don't think so. I'm trying to scout. <laughs> no, can't figure out. That one died. Can shoot through the box, good to know. Jeez. Oh, did I spot them? I think I might have spotted them. I think they're in that house there. Okay. Where's three? There. Guess I can just try and find them. I think they're in here? No. The 
did I see? Made me think that. Oh, that is precision. Lots of different parts work for these five. Does not help me find sixth. Oh, goodness. Wait, it's a box. I think we're good. Yeah. That's fine. Found him. Okay, the light being on actually was the a bit of a giveaway, which was good. So I think if I do that again, we're good to go. I think this path is good. Like I said, lots of parts work, but. Oh, that was a little dicey. Yeah, in that house. Yeah, okay. I just saw the bullet go by them. Um, maybe going the other way is better, but I think we can get them either way. That was cool. I don't know how I'm expected to see that target, but I guess I am. Oh, look at that. Look at little Christmas tree. Alrighty. Wait, real? Oh, there's more. Never mind. I was like, no way that's the last level. I think this will be the last level for the video, though. There used to be a lot of people already dead. Don't know how I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to do more. Cleaning my gun in the bathroom. What? Excuse me? Oh boy. What? Like a mini game? Oh, it's like Pac Man. I see. Pac Man with some absolutely whack controls, by the way. Clutch. Oh, please no. Oh wait. Oh my god. These controls are not it. Had it. The way the ricochet system works is interesting. I think it literally turns you around. Which is sub optimal. Wait, now oh, now I kill them? Yes, so I get them all. Yeah, every time you hit a wall, you rotate. You just turn around, which is this is very bizarre. Very cursed Pac-Man. If you if you missed it, I'm controlling the steering with the mouse, so it's very cursed. All right, that was the cleaning interlude.
absolutely terrifying. All right, I guess we'll play one more level. I can't tell if I'm like, I mean, I guess it's some sort of special power, right? Why is that person's head glowing? Ah. Well, I did suspect there would be headshot on the enemies. There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, whoa. That is wild. Okay. Pretty cool mechanical addition. Uh, nope. I think I need... I don't want to replay the tutorial. I did understand this tutorial. For what it's worth. I think I need to free aim to hit that enemy. Maybe let's just shoot this one. Oh, and the arm. Oh, and it moves. How exciting. I wonder if they always have a weak point. So there's one under. Where's the fourth one? That's my primary question. That's so fun. Oh, it does move kind of quick. I don't have free aim again. I have no idea where the fourth player is. No. Alright. So I gotta find the lost. I gotta find the lost target. This is like a common theme, I would say. Are they above me? Are they there? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. Uh. Let's see. Better. Can I shoot them through the shield? No. Interesting. Oh, they're in a hole in the roof. Okay. So never mind. That is the person I have to hit with free aim. Which means I need to be able to get from this person under the bridge to another target. Which I think is possible. I think that's actually possible. I wonder if it's possible the other way. No, 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 no. It, it can't be possible the other way because I'm never ever gonna hit them. Like, I'm just never gonna hit this person. No. I'm never going to hit this person if Oh, maybe that will work. Let me see if the reverse works. Cuz if the reverse works, I don't think it's too bad. Oops. I think the reverse is going to work. Let's just let's just run it assuming the reverse works. So I'm going to shoot 3 then 2. Two, three needs to not move. But it's probably part of the fun. And then I would ask, fun for whom? And then we're going to do some, like, wild no-scope. Free aim situation. Please move. Really? 
very annoying when you don't move. Jeez. I feel like they're trolling me on purpose. Also, I totally forgot I saw the shield in the cinematic, so that probably should have tipped me off. Also, I bet there's going to be some, like, wild leg shots and stuff. Free aim is armed, but I don't want to use it. Oh, does that really not work? I feel like that definitely works. I'm going to work on... I'm just going to work on this shot. Because it's not going to work the other way, right? The leg does still kill them. For what it's worth. Oh, it's close. Maybe that does work, actually. That kind of... Uh, geometrically makes sense to me. See, it kind of looks like it works, right? 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 <laughs> hmm. I mean, like, one of these has to work. Otherwise, I don't think I can do the level ever. Eh. Alright, let me let me practice. Let's let me do what I was gonna do originally, I guess, which was practice going from here to there. And by here I mean down down here. Unless I can oh wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, it's so playable. Pew. All right, that was sweet. Sweet. Man, this game is something else. Alrighty, that's going to be it for today's edition of Try Stuff Tuesday. Children of the Sun. Very interesting game. Really, really quite, really quite something. Uh, I think this game's sweet. I would play more so let me know if you want to see more of this game there's a chance i'll pick it up again uh down the down the line and just kind of finish it at some point on the channel i can't imagine the game's that long but that's a pretty good overview of what the game is about this is a game that i was really interested in that you can get out now it's fully out fully released this isn't an early access or a demo version or anything like that uh, as always let me know what you thought like comment subscribe if you're into that sort of thing but most importantly thanks for stopping by thanks for hanging out